Our focus on the rail sector is aimed at increasing rail market share by optimizing existing usage and targeting the migration of rail-friendly commodities from road to rail. The success, therefore, of the city deep container terminal upgrade is integral to Transnet's road to rail strategy. Established in 1977, the city deep inland container terminal is the premier container depot in South Africa and also on the African continent. <clears throat> it is also, it is not only the largest inland terminal in Africa, but also the fifth largest in the world. 65% of the container volumes from the ports are consolidated in the Kauteng province. Of the volumes that move by rail to Kauteng, at least 60% is handled through city dip. There are others like Balkon and Pretcon in Pretoria. So city dip therefore remains central in handling the cargo from the three major container ports of Devon, the port of Luka, and the port of Cape Town. It also acts as an interchange for regional traffic de destined to inland provinces as well as the Southern African Development Community. This upgrade is part of the crucial SIP2 of the Presidential Infrastructure Coordinating Committee. The core components of this critical upgrade which we are celebrating today include replacing all container handling equipment with new state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, we've just seen uh, a rail-mounted gantry crane. We've seen uh, some new rich stackers and container handlers. We also are deploying here the latest of the ICT NAVIS terminal operating system on the same platform as the one which we've deployed on our container terminals and our ports. Uh, it also includes upgrading and replacing existing terminal infrastructure thickening uh, the slab here as well as rail infrastructure. We've had also an upgrade in the administration building, uh, new gates as well as new way bridge systems. As a result of these improvements, we can now offer our customers a vastly improved service. These upgrades are crucial if we are to achieve the aims and ambitions of our road to rail migration strategy which is at the heart of our key objective of reducing logistics costs. To all our potential as well as existing customers, we believe that this terminal will remain the premier inland port through which we can grow and increase trade. The essence of success of our country lies in the infrastructure investments that the public sector is making, being dynamically matched and galvanized by private sector investments in the growth of their own companies in order to make our country great. A great number of our South African companies have lazy cash in their balance sheets, which we urge that it must be used uh, as an investment to modernize their plans and make new expansionary investments so that the entire economy of our country can be lifted and it can grow. We in the public sector will continue to do our part, but we require a concomitant commitment from captains of industry so we can build a stronger and more competitive South Africa. 